that we are born with only two fears, the fear of falling and the fear of loud noises. Jill Bolt said this in her book, Stroke of Insight, which is why if you have been around little babies, you will see how fearlessly they walk. They fall, they pick themselves up, they shove mud into their mouth, they catch a worm. Nothing is out of bounds. Always learning, always growing. And then the same baby grows up and becomes like us adults. Scared to try anything new, stay in the things they know, stop learning and settle down into their comfort zones. And that is the focus of this episode, comfort zones and why we need to find our way out. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. Nothing remains the same. Everything grows. Life is all about movement from a blade of grass to an oak tree. Our inherent nature is to grow into the next level and anything, anything that stops that growth is against the law of nature. And that's what a comfort zone essentially does. While there is a certain comfort and familiarity, it also brings stagnation, frustration and a feeling of being stuck as it shrinks around you. You offload the responsibility onto others as you blame your parents, your teachers, bosses, government, the city you live in, your neighbor's dog. Anyone and everyone but you is responsible for why you are here, where you are today. Excuses, justifications, complaints, keeping us stuck where we are. This comfort zone is like an invisible bubble that surrounds your psyche. It expands or constricts based on whether you're learning and growing or stagnating and dying. Your comfort zone, of course, is a place where there's certainty and predictability. Everything within the confines of this comfort zone is very familiar. Now, a comfort zone may be a loving relationship or it may be your conflict with your spouse. It may be the dead-end job that you're stuck in. It can be the traffic jam that you face every day as you curse your way to office. But it's familiar. You know how the other person reacts. You know how you will react. There's just nothing new to learn, no new skills to develop. Which is why when you suddenly find a day when, let's say there's absolutely no traffic jam, you don't raise your hands and thank the Lord. You're uncomfortable. You begin to doubt. Is there something wrong? We get used to our comfort zones, though they make us miserable. And you are miserable. You are miserable because you know, you know that your world isn't really that perfect. What you really want is out there. You know, those things that you wish you could do, that you dream about, that you maybe even talk about. But you're not the entrepreneurial type. You could never travel on your own. You're an ideas person, not the doing type. You need the security of a full-time job. Maybe when you're older, thinner, when you have X amount of dollars, when your kids are older. We stay in our comfort zones mainly for one or two reasons. One is that you're afraid of failure, of making mistakes, of looking foolish, you worry about what other people might think or say. Or, on the other hand, maybe you're scared to succeed. Success has the power to change your life and your relationships. Maybe you're worried about the accountability that comes with this. So you avoid that responsibility by procrastinating, putting off action until tomorrow, telling yourself and others, yes, but, first I need to, I'll do it when. They say that, Outside your comfort zone is where the magic happens. When you push the boundaries of what you feel is comfortable and you challenge yourself to try something new. When you go on an adventure, when you explore and experiment and yes, take a bit of risk. That's when you learn and grow. And ultimately you achieve your deepest, strongest, largest desires. <laughs> You're probably waiting for the right moment to arrive. It never will. Or for motivation to flood your veins. It won't. In fact, only action creates motivation. When you act, you are creating momentum and setting off a chain of events that will lead to all sorts of things 
that you could never have foreseen. Your action doesn't have to be and probably shouldn't be a huge leap. Pushing yourself too far may mean that you overshoot the growth zone and go flying into panic zone that lies outside. Too much risk too soon will have you feeling out of control and you won't be able to reap all those benefits that you're looking for. So now it's time for action. I'm committed to helping you move out of your comfort zone. So here's a simple tool from my toolbox. I don't want you to retreat back into your bubble. This tool is simply called pushing boundaries. So here's what you do. Write down something that makes you really uncomfortable. Maybe it's networking. That's my bugbear. Maybe it's eating Japanese food. Maybe it is saying I love you to your parents, spouse or children. Maybe it's meeting new people. Make it simple. Make a public commitment on social media or some other public forum to do it. And then do it. Just once. See whether you like it. Do it before you judge. I'm not that kind of a person. Even a teeny tiny step can be enough to give you a new perspective to build your confidence so that you can do something a little bigger next time. I want to remind you here that one of the top regrets of dying people is not the mercs that they didn't have in the garage or the mansion that they wanted to build. The top regret was, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not a life that others expected of me. So post in the comment box, how did it feel? And if you have stepped out of your comfort zones, share your story. Maybe it will inspire others to do so too. Share this video with your family and friends. Let's create a better world.